Hey guys and welcome back. Today I've decided to show off my plane collection. Starting off we have a Luxair Dash 8 400 from the country of, you guessed it, Luxembourg. Next up we have the Tupayev Tu-95 bomber. During the Cold War Nikita Khrushchev actually turned one of these into a commercial plane called the Tupayev Tu-114 and at the time became the fastest propeller plane ever at being able to go over 880 kilometers an hour. And this year's 18th best budget airliner, we have a Norwegian 787-8. I really like that each plane has a famous person on his tail wing. Next up, we have a Dutch budget airliner, Transavia 737-800. Entering the skies in 2007, we have the A380, under the colors of British Airways. British Airways, please bring this plane back. Retired in October 2020, but coming into service in 1989, it's one of the most beautiful planes, the 747-400. Next up, we have a 787-800 from Arca, which is now known as TUI. And fun fact, I actually flew on it once to Mexico. Italy's national airline, an Alitalia Embraer 190. Personally, not my favorite airline, but gets you to Italy. Next up, there is this Icelandair 757-200 in the really cool Northern Lights livery. One of the forever living airlines that you will forever love is Air. It's now bought by Pegasus and you can no longer go on this airline. But it has a really cool model and a really cool livery and I'm lucky enough to have the model of an A320. Although I haven't seen this airline flying for about six years, apparently it still exists. And I have a model of one of their A321s of Unrer from Turkey. Next up, we have an A330. 300 from the airline of Edelweiss, based in Switzerland. I didn't actually know this was an airline until I found this model about six years ago. However, looking at the livery, I do believe they got their inspiration from a certain other airline based in Europe. The airline known for its best landings, Ryanair, and I have a model of one of their most iconic planes of their 737-800. Next up, a nice little throwback with an A330-300 from Etihad with their old livery. Going back to Turkey, it's the partnership airline of Lufthansa and Turkish Airlines. I have a 737-800 of Sun Express. Another cool thing I have about Sun Express is I have one of their ropes. Why, I don't know, but I have it. Definitely one of, if not my favorite livery of my collection, a Turkish Airlines A321 with the Turkey Discover the Potential Special livery. Yet another throwback, I have a Turkish Airlines 737-800 holding one of its old liveries. Moving to the smallest in my collection, I have an A330-300 from Turkish Airlines, a 757 from Uzbekistan Airlines, and one of the cutest in my collection, in my opinion, an A320 from Silk Air, which is an Indonesian airline. One of the coolest in my collection, it takes off and lands like a helicopter, but flies like a plane, it's the MV-22B Osprey, in the presidential colors for America. One of the greatest bits of engineering, we have the Air France Concorde, designed by British and French engineers. It is to this day the fastest ever commercial plane that was actively in service. Of course, since the Concorde was built during the Cold War, the Soviets had their own counterpart with the like of the Tupoyev 144. It also had its own nickname called the Konkorsky. In my opinion, the best ever plane that I'll never be able to fly on, we have a Pan Am 747-100 Clipper. Also from Pan Am, I have a 727-200. Probably one of the luckiest 747s to ever exist. The Clipper Storm King, when still flying under Evergreen Airlines, was the only ever 747 to reach supersonic levels and break the sound barrier without actually crashing. The nose boom in front was used for further testing when it landed to find out how it actually achieved this. The fastest ever airplane as of now and one of my most detailed models, we have the SR-71 Blackbird. It is my only model that has a full interior cockpit and also has really cool engines with a really cool design. I also absolutely love all the decals that's on it because it is hyper-realistic and really detailed. 
Here's a 737-800NG from Indonesia's national airline, Garuda Indonesia. One of my only cargo airlines in Cargo Looks, which was the first airline to start using the Boeing 747-800 Freight Edition. Moving to my next and only other cargo airline, I have an MD-11 from Martin Air Cargo. Back to Indonesia, I've got a Lion Air 737-900ER. For some reason, I've never seen a 737-900ER other than this model. Now the airline that I've collected most over the years. I have a KLM 747-400, a KLM Embraer 190, a KLM MD-11, a KLM Convair CV440, a KLM Lockheed L749A Constellation, a KLM A330-300, a KLM A350, a KLM Fokker 100, a KLM 737-800, a KLM 777-300, a KLM 787-800, and to finish it all off, a KLM 100 year special livery 787-1000. Anyways guys, that was my collection and I hope you enjoyed.